This video will cover the basic use and understanding of the MPQB8000 and 800G Warp Sync Enabled Advanced Spectrum Analyzer feature. Note, this feature is only available on the Warp Sync GPS enabled radios, starting with firmware version 3.0.0. It is not currently available on the 2.6.x firmware. The spectrum analyzer helps to analyze the spectrum for interference and select a relatively low interference channel. This tool is limited in accuracy or capability. It is not a direct substitution for professional deployment with a dedicated spectrum analyzer. Now let's go over some of the difference between the basic scan and the advanced scan. Uh, first off, the basic scan shows signal strength in terms of RSSI with a min, max, and an average, whereas the advanced scan shows it as a SNR. Uh, the basic scan shows activity count, whereas advanced scan shows packet count. Activity count includes physical errors as well, whereas the packet count is only valid 802.11 frames. So the basic scan scans the spectrum in 5 megahertz slices uh, in retrospect of the configured bandwidth. So you could be at 20 megahertz or 40 megahertz is still going to scan it at 5 megahertz slices. Whereas the advanced scan, it will scan using the selected bandwidth. So comparing the results on both scans, uh, please select 5 megahertz as the bandwidth under advanced scan. So if that's what you want to really want to do, if you, uh, you want to just look at, compare the two, uh, really select 5 megahertz on the advanced scan as well, and that's something we'll go ahead and cover. Uh, for the 20 megahertz and the 40 plus and minus megahertz, there's no difference in the advanced scan. And just a quick note, for more accuracy in the results, increase the number of iterations and scanning intervals. Uh, because the displayed activity packet count is based on that instance when the device is on that particular channel. If there is no packet activity at that moment, then nothing's going to get captured. So uh, two, three times is a best time, uh, time frame to go ahead and set. So it'll scan two, three times. And then if it missed the first time, you'll be able to catch it the second time, the third time, and it'll just average it out. Now the advanced spectrum analyzer feature works hand in hand with the basic feature. Um, let's go ahead and kind of start where it is. It's under monitor and then tools spectrum analyzer and click scan. It's going to bring up uh, basic and then advanced. Now we already covered basic, right? Just a quick one too. Uh, let's just say that if we're using channel 39, uh, what we're going to see is because this is uh, using uh, a Wi-Fi type uh, scenario, it's going to pick up about 30 megahertz this way and 30 me megahertz down this way. So uh, this may look like interference or not, but we're kind of looking for it's kind of like a step down, right? If we have pretty much everything uh, across about the same even plane, it uh, means we have interference. So that's probably going to be the easiest way. Now, as you can see here, I'm pretty much on uh, channel 36. I got some radios here. I also have some radios up in the upper bands as well. Um, because this uses 5 megahertz slices, it's actually going to pick up a little bit more. Now, the advanced is a little bit different. All right, let's go and click on advanced. And when you click uh, the tab, you're going to basically see this. I already ran a scan here. Uh, you have a scan bandwidth, and then you'll be able to do either 5, 10, 20, and then you could do 40 megahertz, either uh, plus or minus. So it, it, it will be able to kind of pick up a little bit more. And after you've done that, just go click OK. Now, um, you click Start, and of course, it's going to kind of pick this up. So um, right now, we are actually using 20 megahertz. That's with a channel bandwidth that I'm uh, currently using. So this is exactly what I want to see. Um, so it's going to go ahead and pick up pretty much what it sees. And you can see it's a little bit different than 
than the normal. Here you can kind of just see what's out there, but not all of these actually being occupied. It just kind of says that there's sun over here, but because it could be in the side band of the channel, uh, you may not know if it is or is not. Uh, once again, if here it's pretty much in the same plane, the RSSI is all the same. Chances are you're going to have a uh, an interferer. Um, on the advanced side, it's a little bit different. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the advanced uh, spectrum analyzer screen. Uh, fairly simple. Uh, we have our index here to the left. It's just number, count, how many devices are picked up, bandwidth. Uh, this is our channel bandwidth uh, because we are using 20 megahertz. That's what's picking up. If we were using 5 megahertz, it will pick up 5 megahertz. Uh, here's the channel. Okay, it's going to kind of break it down and see what channel it is. Um, this is again fairly different than the basic because the basic is scanning uh, at five megahertz slices uh, so it might be picking up this channel but it's also picking up uh, the side bands that go along with the channel if we would select five megahertz we would most definitely probably see a little bit more uh, we have the mac address uh, because it is uh, wi-fi based you're still going to see a like a beacon okay uh, that's being broadcast and within the beacon you're going to see a MAC address right um, if it's a system name uh, now the system name itself is whatever you call the device I mean that's basically what it is so a lot of times it's blank or if it's just going to be system name or whatever you want to call it so that's all it is now the modes now the modes are a little bit different there are uh, let's see here five modes we have base station which of course is going to be a BSU okay or an endpoint uh, you can have an SU and that's the subscriber unit you have an access point like we have here uh, of course that's an access point average every day AP uh, you will have a station now the station is basically a Wi-Fi client uh, coming from your laptop uh, your um, uh, your cell phone uh, because those actually do broadcast as well so that's going to come up as a station and last there's going to be one as other now uh, the other is really going to pick up things like um, IBSS or an independent basic service set uh, or better known as ad hoc where you have two devices that are talking to each other no access point is required just like two laptops talking to each other uh, it's also going to pick up none uh, proxim warp devices, so you can have other manufacturers that are using uh, the OFDM protocol, and if it's not picking it up as warp, it's going to pick it up as other. So it's going to tell you there's other point-to-point, uh, point-to-multi-point -point, point -point 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 devices out there. Okay, um, we're going to have encryption. It's just telling you if it's using encryption. Uh, here's our max SNR, our max signal-to-noise ratio. Okay. And then over here to our right, we have the packing count. Now, this displays uh, the packet count for the detected device. It is only looking at 802.11 frames, so it's not going to look at anything else other than 802.11 frames. So, uh, how much traffic is being transmitted at that particular time? Okay. Um, that is basic. Once again, it's fairly simple um, as always if you have any questions please contact Proxim Technical Support and be more than happy to assist you to learn more about Proxim Wireless and our solutions please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim